Hello all, happy Tuesday. How's everybody feeling? Happy New Earth, happy New Year. Um, I was gonna type this up as a post, but I got a new phone today, so I wanted to test out the audio quality and the video quality, and the video quality is so good. It's so good. Oh my gosh, technology has come so far. Wow. Um, so I wanted to share a story that happened this past weekend with you ladies to um, support you in whatever it is that you're going through right now because we are all going through a really, really intense retemplating. A lot of energies are coming through our bodies and repatterning us, recoding us, rewriting um, our energy field so that we're in alignment with these new earth frequencies so that we're able to carry more of the light of our higher self. And because of um, these energies that are really surging through, everything's really accelerated. And of course, we are now very much in these new earth frequencies. And so we're processing and purging and purifying things so much quicker because um, we're kind of out of time now. Like if you are not working within like the confine the constructs of a nine to five Monday to Friday schedule Monday to Friday schedule or whatever your work schedule is, if you are able to really um, allow time to expand and there to be no time, you will notice what I mean that there there is no time anymore. You know, like your body tells you to go to sleep when it's time to go to sleep. Your body wakes you up when it's time to wake you up. Sometimes you're up in the middle of the night and you're wired and you're able to create. And other times you're getting flat lines in the afternoon and you need to lay down and rest. Um, but if you don't have like things scheduled in where you're adhering to a certain time frame, you will notice, good morning, Laura, good morning. Um, you will notice that yeah, time is just not what it used to be, which is awesome. So um, with us being in new earth, all of these shifts in processing and um, ascension is accelerated. So I wanted to share with you what happened this weekend with me, and it's the second time it's happened in a matter of three weeks, um, because you might be noticing something similar within yourself. So I went into ceremony Saturday night, um, all day Saturday, something was kind of coming up and surfacing for me. And I was recognizing that I'm like, okay, this is something that I need to go in and clear and release. Um, this is just an old ancestral energy that I've been carrying through my family line that I'm a generational chain breaker. So it ends with me, you know, we're all, <laughs> we are all generational chain breakers. We're all, um, healing our family lines and our ancestral lines. So um, yeah, bow down to all of us that are doing this work. So anyways, I went into ceremony. I like set up a really beautiful altar space in my bathroom and I just was like full witch about it, full priestess about it. Um, just really, really powerful intention. And as I was in the ceremony in the bath, a lot of really powerful downloads were coming through a lot of powerful messages. It was just like, I was, I was in a completely different dimension. So, so incredible. You know, when I came out of that ceremony, about two hours later, I was sitting on the couch with my husband and I looked over at him and I said, I think I just fucked myself up <laughs> because I could feel like this huge, like this energetic shutdown almost in my body where, um, this huge wave of energy just came through me that it like flatlined me. And I started to cough really, really bad. Um, for about like half an hour, I was coughing and coughing, but it felt like, you know, that feeling when you've ran outside in the cold and your lungs are sore. So you start coughing. That's how it felt. But I mean, I had been feeling awesome all day. I knew right away that this was an energetic thing. So like when we're coughing, it's like a heart wall that's clearing. It's something that's in our lungs that are clearing. Then it shifted from a cough to, um, like a fever. So I had really bad body aches and chills for, probably two or three hours of just like nonstop shaking. Like my hands were like, like this, it was, it was wild. I had so many blankets on me. My body hurt so bad. And it was like my, my, my body was shaking out the trauma that my cells were holding onto. My body was shaking out, um, these old residual energies that I had been carrying from my earlier upbringing, from my past lives, from my ancestral line and family, family line. And it kind of made me think like an animal, when they go through a trauma, they get up and they shake their body right away to shake out the trauma. But we don't do that as humans. Um, so 
I kept just hearing the guidance to surrender to the experience. This is just energy. You don't have the flu. It's more of an ascension flu. It's just energy that's leaving the body and you're being retemplated right now. And the Arcturian energies, which are the star seeds that work very much with healing the physical body, not the star seeds, sorry, the galactic um, family that works very much with the healing our physical bodies. They were very, very present with me um, and kind of helping my energy field clear out what was clearing out as well as receiving the new template. And they just kept saying, because my body hurts so bad and I was shaking and shivering and they just kept saying, relax and surrender. And so the deeper I breathed and the more I relaxed, the calmer I could be in the experience. And I had my eyes closed and I was seeing like all of these lights whizzing by and um, like bright light. It was It was really wild. Um, then the fe- then my fever ended up breaking. And so I started to sweat and that lasted for a few hours. So basically, and then on the other side of it, I got up at like two or three o'clock in the morning. I felt fine other than my body felt like it had been through a lot. Um, cause basically it was like what you would experience with a physical flu, um, but condensed into like a four to six hour window, except it had nothing to do with actual illness. Um, had nothing to do with germs or anything. It was completely energetic. And this is the second time that this has happened in three weeks. Um, yeah, right after the 12-12 portal, I woke up in the middle of the night, same thing. It started with a cough, then um, chills, then a fever broke, and then the, then I was fine. Just my body hurt because I sh- shook out so much. So what's happening? Good morning, Brianne. How are you doing? So um, flu... If you look at FLU, that's like a frequency light upgrade. So one of my teachers always spoke about when we get a cold, when we get a flu, our body is actually moving a lot of energy. It's a purification. It's like a physical detox that's happening. And it's something to be grateful for because we're receiving upgrades and activations and it's clearing out old energies and receiving new. Now, I haven't had been sick, knock on wood, for over a year. Yeah, over a year. and But this is the second time that this flu, ascension flu, has happened in the last few weeks. So you may be experiencing something similar. Um, and what's happening is it's like, rather than our body taking two, three, four, five weeks or longer to process something that we've set the intention to release energetically and emotionally in ceremony or a few days, you know, however long your body takes to release it kind of depends on how deeply embedded into your cellular memory it is. Um, so rather than your body taking so long to release something after you've set the intention to release it, it's really, really accelerated. And so that's why our body is requiring so much rest these days. That's why we're all of a sudden like experiencing huge bursts of energy and then huge, like where you're just completely flatlined. And so when we're flatlined, it's because your body is receiving upgrades. Your body is releasing things. It's receiving upgrades so that you can be in a vibrational match for um, the frequencies that are emanating off of the planet from Gaia and the frequencies that are coming down from the cosmos. Um, so you too might be experiencing just some really intense ascension symptoms. And you will usually you will know that it's energetic. Like the first time this happened to me, my husband was right away like, Oh, I'll get you Tylenol, I'll get you ibuprofen. And he should know me by now that I don't take any of that stuff. But that's, that's my husband, bless his heart. Um, he's like, this is a flu. This is a flu. You need medication. The medication will keep it from making it worse. I'm like, no, I, I know a hundred percent that this is energetic and the medication is not going to help. It's actually going to block what's energetically happening here. Um, whereas the second time my husband didn't even ask, he just got me socks and put a bunch of blankets on me and took my dog outside. So I didn't have to, um, so where was I going with this? Right. Okay. But I just knew both times that this was energy, you know, and I could hear the guidance coming through to just relax or under the experience. This isn't the flu. It's not COVID. Um, it's just energy that's moving. And so our body can sometimes just feel like we're going through really, really crazy things that if you, you know, if you talk to like someone that's not in the spiritual world or not in the energetic world, they're like, oh my God, it sounds like you're dying. Like you got to get to the hospital, but, um, you can just tune into your own guidance and just trust that, um, and trust that your body is just doing what your higher self is guiding your body to do. 
I should put in a disclaimer though, if you feel like you need to go see medical uh, medical professional, please do just to get like any sort of affirmation or confirmation that you're fine. Um, for example, like my dog was going through a weird energetic thing in November and December, early December. And I thought that she was like, I thought she was dying. I really did. But I took her to the vet and everything came back clear. There was one level that was a bit high in her urine work, but it was nothing to be causing what was happening. And so it was just hearing from the vet that she's fine. Just made me be like, okay, it's just an energy thing. She's fine. She's fine. It's fine. Um, you know, like for some of you, you might be experiencing crazy heart palpitations. And so you might want to go to the doctor to be like, yo, something's going on with my heart. They'll run tests and your heart will be fine. It'll be fine. It's just energy. And so, um, the, the stronger that you develop your relationship with your intuition and your own inner guidance, the more that you'll just know and trust that it's just energy. There's nothing crazy going on with my body, even though it feels crazy. It feels like I'm dying right now, but I'm fine. I'm fine. Um, but these are always opportunities to come into gratitude that this is what's happening, that like you have claimed your growth, you've claimed your soul's evolution, you've claimed your ascension and you are clearing out old dense energy so that you can hold more light so that you can expand your light and your frequency is is increasing you're able to hold more power your gifts and your abilities will come online even more and amplify the um you know if you're a healer and you work with people one-on-one -on -one, the energy that you transmit is so much more powerful the the healing that you offer is that much deeper because you are holding so much more light so every time that we do go through these crazy ascension symptoms where it's just like Fuck, this is brutal it's just an opportunity to say thank you Thank you, God. Thank you, divine, for choosing me to be a vessel of this work. Thank you so much for clearing out what it knows no longer serving so that I can be more in alignment with my soul purpose and more in alignment with my divinity. I am so grateful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and just, you know, sometimes our body is going to be so uncomfortable and it's learning how to find comfort in the uncomfortable. You know, sometimes I go weeks where I'm experiencing heart palpitations and like crazy levels of anxiety moving through my body. And that's just because there's influxes of light that has my body being like, what, what, what? So I just <sighs> drop in, remind my body that she is safe. I remind her that it's safe for her to hold more light. And I ask her what she needs from me. And so often it's more water, a salt bath, and to lay the F down. I'm trying not to swear. I know I've dropped a few swear words already, but there's some some people that are listening that might have kiddos running around. Um, but yeah, to just lay down and rest. I was just on the floor for like 15 minutes over there, laying on my cushion, be like, ugh. And then after 15 minutes, I was like, oh, now I have the energy. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. So just listen to what your body needs right now and um, tune into that inner guidance of, you know, what is going on here? What is there for me to learn? What can I do to honor myself and help my body through everything that she is doing? You know, our DNA is activating, our organs are shifting, our blood is shifting. We are just becoming more light. We're doing what has never been done before, which is incredible. You know, the galactics, our teams are all here supporting us and they're also in awe of what hum humans, what our physical bodies, what our vessels are doing right now. It's, it's really, really incredible what's happening here right now. And so I honor each and every single one of you for committing to yourself, committing to your ascension, committing to your healing, even though it's uncomfortable as F some days. Um, so yeah, as we're, as we're like finding our ground in new earth, there might be some new ascension symptoms and just new things that are coming up for your, through, through your body for you. And um, just lean into different online spaces for support, ask your higher self what you need. And it always is kind of affirming when you hear that somebody else is going through like heart palpitations, like crazy. If you're going through heart palpitations, um, you know, the last few weeks I've had a lot of just really, really sore. It, I felt like my cells hurt, like my cells were sore and even though I didn't feel like drinking water, I would just keep like chugging the water and laying down and have baths and then it would, it would release. And so 
there's just all sorts of different things that you might be experiencing. Headaches, I've been experiencing super hot um, inner ears, like the ear canal is super hot. I feel like I could start a fire in there and so, so much heat, but that's just energy coming down through my crown. And so um, just helping to move the energy with their hands down and so forth. You know, sometimes just a scratchy throat is ascension symptoms. Sometimes a cough is, is ascension. You know, just tune in and ask yourself, is this energetic or is this something that I actually need to, good morning, Savannah. Um, is this something that I actually need to go like, talk to a doctor about or get checked out. And if you're worried, go talk to a doctor. They'll make sure, they'll let you know that you're fine, that you're fine, all right? So I'm sending you all so much love and I'm also really freaking delighted of how good quality this video is. Um, thank you, new phone, woohoo, woohoo, woohoo. And um, I love you guys. I hope you have a beautiful, magical day and a magical week. And yeah, take care.